Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back today with another review. I hope you guys are enjoying these if you already are subscribed to me so you are seeing all my reviews. But if you're new here, check out my other reviews and I hope you enjoyed this one. In today's video, I am reviewing Oribe. 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 A really fancy hair product line that is really overpriced. Today I'm gonna to tell you if it is worth the price. So I am gonna be talking about purple shampoo. So if you don't have blonde hair, I don't know if this will benefit you, but I am talking about their Gold Lust Repair Conditioner as well. So I'm gonna show you the two products. I got the travel sizes off. I purchased their travel sizes off Amazon. So I got the Bright Blonde Shampoo by Oribe and the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Conditioner. They both were about 20 bucks each for the travel size, which is a lot because usually, you know, normal for a travel size. I really wanted to see if it was worth the hype and the price. So first let's start with the purple shampoo. Now I've had these for about a month and I'm pretty much like one use away from both of them. And they've lasted me a month because I wash my hair once a week. So that's why they've lasted me that long for the travel side. If you wash your hair the same amount of times a week as I do, then, then great, these will last you a long time. So the original size is literally like humongous and it depends which one you get, but just for reference from what I've seen, the sizes range from like $60, $70 to like $160. I saw one for like a 30 um, fluid ounce one, which, well, if you're someone like me who washes your hair like once a week, that'll last you a hell of a long time. But enough about that. That's just how much it retails for. Let's get into the tea, the juicy stuff of these products. Purple shampoo. What I have to say is does tone your hair down, which I've had purple shampoos that really don't do anything but dry out your hair and in the end they're, it's not even toned, or I've had the opposite where it does a great job at toning and keeping it nice and bright, but my hair is literally like a broom. So I've tried to find the balance of you know, products and shampoos and such that help my hair still feel soft and also help keep it bright. This did that. It is great, I hate to say, but I will say one thing. I don't think I would purchase the full size, let alone repurchase this little size. And I'll tell you why, because I actually have tried purple shampoos that do the exact same. And they don't leave my hair feeling dry or brittle, but they tone and get the job done. That is the shampoo that I usually use and it is called Pravana by the brand Pravana. It's really good. I'll link it down below for you guys from Amazon. That's what I've seriously used for like the past two years and I like that more than this. Had to do a mini switch because of the lighting. It just was really bad and it probably still is, but if you've made it this far, thank you for still watching. This is the purple shampoo that I've used for the past like two years or so. Obviously, I've switched on and off trying others, but I always find myself coming back to this one. And I'll link a few others down below that I really, really like. This is just my favorite for the price and it's the least drying one that I've found. The others I like can be a tiny bit drying, but it's nothing crazy. My hair still looks and feels really soft. Back to the Bright Blonde Oribe Shampoo. I like it. I don't think it's worth the price at all. I didn't feel that my hair was softer. It did the job in toning well. It almost felt a little bit drying and also not as cleansing. I just feel like it is so expensive for what it is and the other purple shampoos that I use, like Pravana, is the same 
same ingredients for the most part, nothing special. My hair actually usually is a lot blonder if you've seen from other videos, but the last time I went to the salon, we toned it a little bit darker just because I wanna have more of a natural grow out because it's just so high maintenance and I'm getting kind of over it, but I love being blonde, unfortunately. So usually it does look a lot brighter than this. You can kind of see here in the back, maybe a little better where the lighting's higher, but it, Pravana works great, highly recommend. I can do a full dedicated review on their products if you guys would like to, because I do use a lot of other products by them too. So I, I mean, I give the actual product, I'd say like an eight out of 10. It does work great. I just think for the price, it is not worth the hype at all or the money at all. Let's just leave it at that. Moving on to the Oribe Gold Lust Repair and Restore. This retails for roughly the same price as the shampoo. This little guy was like 15, $20 on Amazon. And then their original prices for the average sized bottle, I believe was 50 or 40. And it is really, really big, but this is what it looks like. I hate to say it, but I love it. I would definitely purchase the full size. That's how good it is. I definitely have conditioners that I really enjoy and are a lot less in cost, but it it really just does the job. It really feels like it's nourishing my hair. It really feels like it's just it just feels less brittle from, you know, bleaching it and it really just feels like silk. Like it makes your hair so freaking soft. I want to repurchase it and I hate to say it, but in time, I will. For the meantime, I do really enjoy using Redken's All Soft. It's in the gold bottle. I like to use that one a lot. And honestly, the Garnier Fructis one has been my ride or die for like years on end. I always find myself going back to it just because it's just so thick, smells amazing, and it's literally like $3 and it's great works amazing if you're looking for a little something more high-end then i would try redken they have great stuff but if you're looking for something to break the bank but also have great hair while you're doing it i really do recommend the oribe gold lust conditioner freaking silk not kidding it's great if you're looking to spend some money on it i highly recommend it and I give it a 10 out of 10. Actually like nine out of 10 because of the price, but the actual product, 10 out of 10. My final verdict on these products are, definitely you can invest in a better purple shampoo. And I always say that I did a function of beauty review a couple of months ago and same thing happened there. I don't think it's worth the price. That is the review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please catch up on any of my vlogs that I've been doing if you like me and you like my channel. I have a lot more personal stuff going through there. I just moved into my place. For those of you who are subscribed and are watching my videos constantly and you're not new, sorry if you're tired of hearing this, but yeah, I did just move in and we're waiting for, I moved in with my boyfriend and we're getting settled. Ignore this pillow. It just came with our current sleeper couch sofa that we have that will soon be moved to the guest bedroom and we're getting our new big couch soon. It'll come one day. It was customized, so it's taking a really long time from living spaces given all of COVID stuff going on. Stay tuned if you guys like... <gasps> There's a wasp trying to get in. <gasps> I feel so safe in here. <gasps> Is it building a nest in there? Oh, there it is again. <gasps> I'm scared, I hope it doesn't get in. If you're interested in seeing more vlog style videos, go ahead and check out my other ones if you're new. If you are new, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for a lot more like home decor stuff. All that will be coming soon, more reviews, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot to me. 
We need 50 more to get to 300. Help me get there. I couldn't do it without your support and you guys liking my videos. If I can help you in any way or if I have helped you in any way, uh, it feels so good. My Instagram DMs are always open. So please reach out if you ever need advice on anything or if you want me to make a video on anything, I am open to doing it all. Until my next video, stay safe with all that's going on thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video